it's up. It is I, the Concrete Cowboy. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Hello, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Newly new estate sailing, sailing. You name it, I love it. Timmy Cowboy. Welcome back to a new video. It is Sunday. Those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. Over many years, I had been growing my Chanel handbag collection. Gradually, I have been downsizing. About five videos ago, I showed you that there were three additional Chanel bags that I decided that I wanted to sell out of my collection. We are talking about the sale of those three Chanel bags. Two out of the three were flawless. The third one is the one I want to talk to you guys about. Now listen, okay, now wait, let me, let me just say this. Moving forward in 2024, this is our book together. If I see some comments down below and somebody wants to talk about a topic, it's going right in this book. This is our book to share. Whatever it is you might be interested in wanting to discuss, leave it in the comments below and we can get into it. I am going to be very delicate with this. This is not about exposing anybody. This is not about making somebody feel any type of way. It's to explain to you the circumstances, some FYI tips so that you don't run into any challenges when you decide you want to offload some bags out of your collection. So here we go. Had a person who was interested in a medium flap bag that I had listed for sale on this particular site. Internally, you have the ability to set it all up from authentication to photos to description to condition. Listen, y'all, all the way down the line so that there's no mistake about anything about what it is that you are trying to sell. So I do all that. I get multiple questions, back and forth people, people who are seasoned with buying pre-loved, and then some people who are looking for their very first Chanel bag. I get it. I'm cool with it. So ultimately, this bag sells. I do my part, package it really nicely, congratulatory note, everything, boom. Bag goes out the door flawlessly. Once the bag leaves my hands, I'm thinking to myself, okay, all is said and done, and, and we're good, right? We good? We were not good. With this particular site, when a person decides that they want to buy a bag, they are allowed a time frame to look at the bag and make their decision about it. It is not uncommon for a couple days to go by. And when I say a couple days, I, I mean no more than a day or two to go by before someone says, hey, I'm accepting, everything's fine. So I started to feel a little tricky when third day comes and I don't see a rating for this particular item. Hey, I accept it. I'm going to keep it. I'm not. I get a instant message from this buyer. Hey, I think the bag is beautiful, but unfortunately I am going to want to send it back because the bag is this color versus this color. Oh, okay, now listen. Okay, so now stop. Okay, stop. Look, listen. I gotta tell you guys how this went down because how I was feeling was some kind of way when that message came back. Because I'm looking at my phone like, oh, wait a second here. Uh oh, uh uh. Look, figure out how you wanna respond to this. What you gonna do? So I, I read into it and it was like as if this person was like, strong arming me into taking this bag back. It didn't sit right with me. I said, this is what I was trying to avoid. Hence why I did what I did with the listing, all the pictures, all this, that, and the third. I said, I sent a response with a semblance of those types of words. Okay. So follow me on this. That's when I get all of the darts. Well, the bag, you said it was lambskin and it looks like this. Da, 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 da. Okay. All of us seasoned folks who have had lambskin Chanel bags know that when they start showing a little bit of wear and tear, sometimes those bags get what I call like a gloss on them. A gloss, it almost looks like, I don't even want to call it a film, but 
it can almost look like the bag has some type of a coating. And this person is trying to say, oh, the bag looks iridescent. <laughs> it ain't no way, shape, or form that this bag is an iridescent anything. Number one, that is why when I decide that I want to put any Chanel bag, whatever kind of bag, that it goes through authentication services, but more about that later. So I send the response and I say, well, no, this is a lambskin bag. It's been well loved, hence all the pictures. And that is why I ask that everybody look at the pictures before they say, yes, this is something that I want to get. So immediately here comes the response back, well, I I'm going to go through so-and-so because I, I want a refund. I say, fine. Whatever you have to do, it will ultimately be up to them to make the decision. So I leave it at that. I, I do nothing else. I, I, I basically, I'm going to be quiet. I go, I go quiet. Fine. Do what you do. So the notification comes. And you guys, about an hour later, ruling was in my favor. Bag is sold. These are your funds. Congratulations, buyer, enjoy yourself, and the discussion. Now you guys, let me just say this about the whole circumstances. I'm speaking from history as a seller of Chanel bags, high-end designer bags, but I'm also speaking from the perspective of being a buyer. If you are new to purchasing Chanel bags, do your homework. Know what it is that you are looking at and make sure that that bag is going to be exactly what it is that you are looking for, fitting the bill and everything. If you are not sure about what happens with lambskin, how it wears, what, what it looks like later on, ask. Ask questions. Ask. To jump the gun and to buy something and you get it and it is not what it what you thought it was going to be because you think one way and it's looking another way but it's been explained all the way out from said description that this is exactly what it is and what you're going to get and then on top of that reviewed and authenticated twice over it is going to be what it's going to be the other part as a seller i have a responsibility to spell everything out when i am selling something that can get up into price points that those bags can get. You guys know how I feel about pricing pre-loved bags. There's no way I'm gonna sling a bag out there for three grand or nothing, no, no. But there's also no way that I'm gonna send a bag out there and sit it at a price point and not spell out everything that is going on with the bag. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. The buyer has a right to know, which is why I'm very methodical when I decide that I want to list a bag to sell and make it very clear to the potential person that could be owning the bag that it's going to be X, Y, Z, and P. Third thing I want to say is this. If a message comes back to me and it is one in which I feel like it is almost pushing me to force of, you're gonna accept this bag back because I said so. Uh, 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 uh. I am not getting up in theatrics or shenanigans with anybody through a keyboard because your feelings were hurt because you ended up buying something and you didn't do your homework and you're disappointed about it, but you had everything laid out in front of you. And mind you, I'm not being hypercritical. I'm not doing that at all. I'm just saying, know what it is that you're getting into. Just like I had to learn what it was that I was getting into when I began resale and I began buying things that I was interested in. It's a learning curve for all of us. When you decide you want to send something back and you are challenging somebody's listing, you are challenging something that they have history with, you are challenging something that they have bought and they've used and they know about the thing inside and out, then <laughs> look, be prepared for whatever happens that comes back. Collecting bags, whether it's going to be for personal or whether it's going to be because you want to get into resale. Be careful with making sure that you cover your, you know what, cover your assets, CYA. Because I guarantee you, had I not been as thorough and 
authenticated that bag, list everything that was going on with the bag, explain everything about the bag, all the way down the line in the listing and said in the listing itself, please look at all the photos and ask any and all questions that you may have about it. Guarantee you that bag would have been coming back to me. It's making sure that the experience on both sides of the buy sell experience is a good one and you have two people who are satisfied you've got a buyer that's happy with what they got because they knew exactly what it is that they were getting and you have a seller who's happy that the item is where it rightfully should be and that is with the person who really really wants it but i can tell you this i'm not i'm not getting up in the mix over something that I know is what it is. I'm not getting up in the mix with it. And if your feelings are hurt, do a little bit more homework before you decide that you wanna make a purchase on something that could either make you extremely happy or have you exceptionally disappointed. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever sold an expensive handbag, Chanel, Hermes, whatever, and someone tested, tried you, waited after a certain amount of time, and then decided they wanted to try to send the bag back. And let me know how you handled it, because I gotta tell you, I have learned that it's better to just state the facts, let it ride, and let the results be what they're gonna be. I can accept if I made a mistake, absolutely, but if I know that I spelled it all out, oh no, it's not going that way. You guys, if you do not wanna miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not wanna miss out, you know what to do. Tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet, I am Concrete Catwalk on the Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, please feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well if there's anything that you see that you're interested in. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now. Thank you.